basketball demands uncanny reactions, incredible athleticism, and what's called court vision. The ability to keep track of nine other fast-moving guys. It's a great pass. For elite ballers, the secret to seeing every corner of the court is in the corners of their eyes. Peripheral vision. But does great peripheral vision translate to great reaction time? And how do the pros stack up against the rest of us? To find out, we brought in two test subjects. Our team leader, John Brinkus, the average Joe. His competition, NBA forward, Corey Maggetti. He's your average NBA superstar. To test how peripheral vision affects their reaction time, we're using the Smart Speed Reactive Grid. This new cutting edge technology tracks athletes' movements with infrared scanners and transmits data instantly and wirelessly. Each runs through a starting gate and then is forced to react to a light that prompts them to cut either right or left. This test allows us to calculate the difference in reaction times between the average Joe and an elite pro down to the thousands of a second. We'll be able to see if having great peripheral vision translates to a great reaction time. Our Phantom High Speed Camera allows us to perfectly synchronize their performance and superimpose the images of John and Corey. Dead even after the first 10 steps. At the moment of truth, when they're forced to react, the difference between average and elite emerges. When the trigger lights are directly in front of them, Corey reacts five hundredths of a second faster than our average Joe. That translates to two feet of separation. And with the trigger lights at 90 degrees, Corey's time separation is most pronounced. One fifteenth of a second better, or six feet of separation. Even though it seemed like the times were close, in reality, that fraction of a second equals one light year. That's the difference between the average Joe and an elite athlete. Why does the separation get greater as the trigger lights get further apart? The answer is Corey's highly developed sense of peripheral vision. He's better able to react to stimuli in the corners of his eyes. Our built-in motion detectors. The only thing that changed was the position of the gates. So indeed, elite athletes do react more quickly to things in the corners of their eyes. The stronger the peripheral vision, the faster the reaction time. So how do the best basketball players use superior peripheral vision on the court? The best example is the sweet no-look pass. One of the greatest magicians in all of basketball is all-star point guard Steve Nash. How does he do it? One of the best players in the league, you say, is Steve Nash with his vision. You know, looking each way, trying to find his teammates cutting to the basket. You have like four or five different options where you got to make the best decision to get the ball to the right player. Our motion tracking technology shows us how peripheral vision gives Steve Nash a 360 degree view of the court. This is an inside look at the no look pad. <laughs> Think of the eyeball as a 180-degree fisheye lens. The front of the eyes are loaded with receptor cones, which specialize in detecting color, while the sides are packed with receptor rods, better at detecting motion. While new information is entering the eyes in the front of his head, when Nash turns his head, the images of what's going on behind him are still fresh in the brain. These are the eyes in the back of his head. With highly developed peripheral vision and a wicked fast brain extrapolating data, this gives the NBA's best a crystal clear 360 degree view of the court.